In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that you can add animated subtitles in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Before we continue, let's give a super quick shout out to Envato Elements. They remain the number one plug for unlimited creative assets for your project. So make sure you check the link in the description to get started. So here we are in Premiere Pro and I have this sequence and clip from our last video on how to synchronize your video and audio in Premiere Pro. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you check that out. The goal here is to add animated subtitles to this clip. So the first thing you want to do is click on this double arrows here and then you see text. You can either select it from here or you can just go down to window in case you don't have it active under there and click on text. Now you have this panel and you can click on the transcript tab. Now you have this section accordion that shows you the clips you have on your audio tracks. So as you can see here, I have two active tracks here with two different audio elements. But the second one is from Epidemic Sound and I don't need that one. So I'm just going to uncheck the checkbox in front of it. So this is the one I want to transcribe and then I'm now going to click on transcribe. You give it a few seconds and it's going to do the whole process of transcribing the audio. And after that, you can look at the final result and make changes wherever you need to. For example, yeah, it sees it as massive dig, but what I actually said was massive dig. So let me correct that. Besides the error, this transcribe button really makes our life easy because believe me, you don't want to go through the hard process of typing in your subtitles manually. I've done that before and it's really hot. So the next thing we are going to do is click on the CC icon here to create captions from the transcript. And then you'll be shown these um, options here. I'll leave it as subtitle default and then expand the section. So yeah, what we are going to do is we're going to configure how we want our subtitles to look like. So for example, I want it to show um, very, very limited long like characters on the screen. So I don't want the sentences to be too long. So it's not overwhelming to the viewer. So I'm going to set this the minimum length to 12. And then for the minimum duration in seconds, I'm going to set this to 1.5. And then we we'll leave the gap as it is. No need to make any changes there. And then I'm going to set the lines to single because I want it to just be on a single line. And then once you are done, you click on the create captions. Now what's going to happen is it's going to create this um, captions track, as you can see here. This, this track is actually different from the audio and video track that you're normally used to. And also it comes with these limitations. So right now we can just do very limited things on it, like changing the, the font and all that, but we can't add animations to it. So the next thing to do is to upgrade these captions to a graphics um, elements on the uh, on its own track so we are going to come up here and click on graphics and title and then you see upgrade caption to graphic so yeah after doing that we now have our graphic our caption as its own um, graphics that we can manipulate easily so i'm going to come here to essential graphics and then i'm going to change because right now you can see that we have the subtitle here so for example if i play it you see that i was going in it's kind of it kind of looks good already but we can do better honestly so let's just highlight everything and then i'm going to change the font and i'm going to use a font called obelix pro it's kind of popular out there a lot of creators use it so i'm just going to select it then i'm going to set the font size to 220 i mean this honestly depends on what you're doing like depends on how you want your captions to look and feel but for this i'm going to set it to 220 and then I'm going to scroll down, then add stroke. I'm going to change the color to black so it pops and then click on OK. And then I'm going to come down and add shadow to so just make it feel a little bit nicer. So I'm pretty much OK with the way um, the font is looking right now. So if I scroll through, you see it still looks good in general. At this point, it's pretty much okay if you want to just leave it like this. That's totally fine. But I want to add the animations to even make it pop more. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the zoom in animation, which is also very popular amongst a lot of creators where each um, subtitle as it comes and it just zooms in on the screen. I'm going to click on the first graphic and then I'm going to come over to the effect section and search for transform. Now to apply this transform effect to the graphic, you will need to drag it onto the graphic. And immediately you'll see that in the effect control panel, it adds a new um, section here, transform. So you click on the transform and once it's highlighted, you'll see it reveals the anchor position of the subtitle graphic. And this is very important because this is going to determine how the animation is going to occur. So for example, if we leave it as it is and apply the zoom in effect, it's going to zoom in, it's going to zoom in or zoom out from this position, which is going to look funny. So what we are going to do is we are going to drag that anchor downwards so, so as to align it with the current position of the subtitle and make it zoom in or zoom out from this same level, which is exactly what we want. So we just click on it and drag it down. But you'll notice that it quickly gets out of um, the straight line. So to make sure it stays on the straight line, just hold down your shift key. And that is going to make it um, difficult to go away from the straight line. So just pull it down and then drag the second one, the same thing, hold down the shift key and just align both of them. And once you've done that, we are almost there. So we're going to add the animation using the scale property. So with the first graphic selected and the effects control panel open, click on the stopwatch in front of the scale property. But make sure before you do that, make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Then click on the stopwatch in front of the scale property. And that's going to create the first keyframe, but we need to make sure that the value is zero. So it starts from absolutely zero. And then we are going to move this playhead four to four frames. So use your arrow direction on your keyboard, just move it forward four times and then set the value to 100, which is effectively going to create another keyframe. Now, if we scrub from beginning, you see the way the animation happens. So we can even make it look nicer by adding easing. So um, we're going to add ease in to the second one. And the first one, we are going to add ease out. So that's going to make it look much, much nicer. Now we're going to apply this effect or animation to other subtitles because right now it's added on only just the first one so with the first graphic selected you click on the transform property and select command c or Control c on pc and then you highlight every other subtitle or graphic aside the first one then you just hit Control v or command v on mac and that's it. It's going to apply effect to all of them. So at this point, we're pretty much done. Anything you want to do from now is just extra creativity. You can change the color of a particular graphic. You can also rotate it. You can, you can apply any transform property to it and make it even look more interactive. So if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next.